Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So I thought today we would spend a little bit of time with Officer T. He's quickly becoming one of my favourite sims to play with. I wouldn't say he's overtaken Dirk yet, but he is pretty fun. So if you don't know who Officer T is, he is a police officer. In fact, Officer T, let's get you in your uniform. There we go. He takes himself very seriously as a police officer. He is a pretty good police officer. And yeah, sometimes he misses the mark in crime scenes. Doesn't spot the clues straight away. And yeah, sometimes he does struggle to control his anger. But his heart's in the right place and that's the main thing. I also thought, you know, we've done two videos so far on Officer T. And he's at career level three. So I'm thinking maybe we'll just check in with Officer T every now and again until he gets to like career level 10. We have work in two hours. And it looks like our promotional tasks are different now. We now have to interrogate a suspect. If you didn't see the last video, we managed to arrest someone. We were on the hunt for someone that was wearing a long sleeve shirt. But, you know, it was the end of the day. We had a quota to hit, so we did just arrest someone in a t-shirt. So I'm pretty sure he's not guilty. So we're going to have to work extra hard tomorrow to interrogate this guy in order to convince him to admit guilt. Oh, it's not easy being Officer T, but someone's got to do it. For now, though, we'll just enjoy watching Queer Eye. Pretty sure it actually is Queer Eye. <laughs> okay, time for work. We will come with you, Tyrone. Okay, back at the old grind. What are you two doing here? Did you get arrested? Dogging in public, were we? Tut tut. Okay. Exercise for one hour. Get criminals fingerprints. Interrogate the suspect. All right, you sick fucks. Let's get some fingerprints. This guy looks pretty dodged. Let's go for him. You all right, Dave? How's the wife? She's still giving you a hard time after that toilet plunger thing. Oh, fucking Dave. Always in everyone's business. All right, you sick, twisted son of a bitch. You're coming with me. Taking your prints. Don't look at me like that. You know what you did. With your little pencil-drawn eyebrows. Think you're cool with your little braids? You won't think it's so cool when you're being shoved around in the shower dropping your soap on the floor, will you? Yeah, they'd have a right meal with you, wouldn't they? That soft, shiny skin you got there. Looks like you've been taking up a real beauty routine. There's one thing about sex-starved men in prison. They love men with braids. They like a guy who takes care of himself. And with that baby soft skin, I think you're in for a hard time, friend. All right, let's get another inmate. We'll just do one more search and then we'll move on to the other tasks of the day. Oh, you look like a sassy one. Did you get your hair tips from the other inmate, huh? These fucking braids. They're on every sim, I swear. Right, let's go. See what you've tried sneaking in. I know there's something you got down here and I'm gonna find it. What you doing, huh? You sneaking smack up your sniz? Bit of meth up your muncher? I'm not sure anyone's called it a muncher before. Huh? What we got here, huh? Ah, looks like you're clean. Or are you? Flashlight? Ah, oh, you're gonna need that flashlight in this place. Yeah, you're not gonna be seeing any action for a very long time. Now get back in the cell, you filthy slut. Gotta go browse the police database. Oh, and there's my suspect right here. An innocent man that I can hopefully convince to become guilty. Just have a quick look at some of these classified files. Thinking about starting a true crime podcast, so being a police officer really helps me get into the nitty gritty details. Gives me an upper hand to all those other true crime reporters. Right, let's interrogate this suspect. Stop looking at porn, Officer T. Come on, you've got a job to do. You want this promotion or not? Ha! <laughs> An officer's been locked in. <laughs> I'm not even going to help her. She can stay there with the other caged animals. All right, you sick fuck. I can already tell just by looking at you that you're a criminal. There's something about you that reminds me of the other criminals in here. I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe you all have the same hairdresser. Come on, son. On you go. Sit down. Now tell me, what did you do with your long sleeve top? I know you had one. You must have hidden it in a bush. Kitar Kentaru seems defensive. Well then maybe someone needs the force of the law right across his face. Tell story about prison, yeah. Tell him what he's gonna be in for. Yeah, that's right, you should be scared. You should be scared. 
There are some real sick fucks in here, Kentaru. And maybe I might just use my power to offer them privileges if they do make your life hell. So what do you say? Should we enter a guilty plea? I know you did it. I'm just gonna keep intimidating this kid until he cracks. Describe prison horrors, yeah. You're gonna crack. They all do. They all crack. The suspect appears to be innocent and can be released. <laughs> oh, he looks pretty angry with me. Well, you may have gotten away with it this time, but you still need a reminder of the firm hand of the law. Now get back to your cell, you piece of shit. Oh wait, no, I just found out that you're innocent. Well, have a nice day. Thanks for stopping by the office. Hey guys, nothing to see here. I think we should travel to another crime scene. I prefer my old job when I got to go to crime scenes. All right, here we are. Crime scene. Oh, oh, oh. Well, it's clear what's happened here. Obviously, some prankster has had a few beers last night. Took it a bit too far. Well, we better find some clues. See if we can get to the bottom of this. There's a murder weapon over there, but that's probably going to be no use. Let's look in the fridge. What do we have here, then? A carton of milk? Of course. It's so obvious. This crime was obviously committed by whoever produced this milk. And the fucker's only gone and put his face all over it. Thought it was the perfect crime. Clearly this cow decided to get revenge on whoever stole his milk, got angry about it, had a few beers, and then thought he'd act the class clown. Right, let's come interview some of these witnesses. Did you have anything to do with this? Did you see the cow? Goad him on, did you? I bet you guys had a right laugh. Yasmin didn't provide much. Huh, so you got the cows back then, huh? Trying to protect him. That's not going to pay off for you, Yasmin, I can promise you that. you got to just tell me the truth, Yasmin. Why are you laying it out on the line just to protect some cow? Tell me what you know. Got something on you, has he? Huh? This cow must be pretty powerful to have you risk so much to defend him. All right, Tyrone. Let's return to the police station. These sick fucks aren't going to tell us anything. Uh, you're not doing any work, Officer T? You're just going to stand in protest? Yeah, right, that's what I thought. No, I understand. It's probably just a bit shaken up from that bloody crime scene back there. It's not for the weak stomach, I could tell you that much for free. Not for the faint of heart, this job. But someone's got to do it. And that someone is me. Officer T. Tyrone did a good job today. Okay, great, great. Well, you know what, Officer T? I usually let you enjoy your evenings. But this case is too serious to fob off or ignore. I think we need to go on a little trip. And I know exactly where we need to go. Look at the amount of enemies he has. <laughs> well, unfortunately, that comes with the price of being a good cop. I gotta keep these streets safe. And sometimes you can't do that by being friendly. All right, here we are. There he is, the sick fuck. What's his name? Gary? Thought you were sneaky, didn't you, you son of a bitch? Thought we wouldn't see, but you left a very obvious clue. You should have taken your milk. It had your face right on it, you stupid prick. Where were you the night of the murder? Huh? You seem the type to hold a grudge. Have a few beers last night, did you, Gary? Nothing to say? Well, you'll be in front of a judge in court next week, so if I were you, I'd come up with a solid alibi, mate. He looks guilty as fuck. All right, Officer T, great work. Let's head back home and enjoy our evening before we head down to the station again in the morning. Gary, this isn't the last time we see each other. Okay, it's a new day. We have work in about an hour's time. Officer T had a lovely evening after he got home f after interrogating the cow. He had a face mask. We watched a thriller series. It was great. It was great. And now we're refreshed and ready for another day at the station. So let's go. Okay, we'll start the day nice and easy. Just browse the police database. See what we can find. Excuse me, Tina, I need to use that computer. I'm investigating some sick fuck down at Henford Farm. Tina? Tina! God damn it, Tina, I am a man! Thank you. Jesus Christ. Any more behavior like that, I might have to write you up. <laughs> well, this seems to be the civilian here, so let's go take the police report. Come on, Officer T. I'm not sure how innocent this civilian really is. I don't know if it's just me, but I can smell some disrespect in the air. You, tell me everything you know about Henford Farm. You're not giving me a lot of information here. Why is everyone covering up for the cow? God damn it, what has he got on you? <sighs> How do I keep these streets safe when no one wants to cooperate? I'm gonna have to do a run. 
They say jogging clears the mind, don't they? So hopefully I think I can try and think of what could possibly motivate these sick fucks to cover up Gary's actions. I mean, Gary's motive is clear. He's obviously pissed that someone stole his milk. But how do I prove it? How do I prove it? I'm going to go analyse some evidence. Unfortunately, we didn't get a proper blood sample of the victim, but thankfully, she was on the rag when she died. See if we can identify who the victim was. Clearly a huge fan of cereal. I mean, you don't need to be Einstein to work that out. I love how Officer T's, like, true nature is just to go squaring up to everyone. All right, we got to get some work done. I want to try and get a promotion, so let's go deal with some of these criminals, take some mug shots, take some fingerprints. Come on, Blondie, you're next. You look tired. Exhausting night of committing crimes, was it? Yeah, I thought so. Now say cheese, you piece of shit. That's right. Yeah. Right, get over here. We need to do your fingerprints. You giving me cheek? Was that a little bit of lip I could hear, little man? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Fingerprints on the table. Yeah. Now get back in your cell, you waste of space. Oh, I have to search them as well. Okay, Officer T, turn around. Turn around. We gotta go back. Officer T! God damn it. Come on, Officer T. There isn't time. He's trying to run away. And and you just you're walking straight past him. You're letting him run away. <laughs> he's gone. He's fucking gone. Oh no, he's back here. Okay, good. For a second there, I thought he'd escaped. Right, up against the wall. I gotta search your cavities here. So you should tell me now if I'm gonna find a belly full of crack-filled condoms. Just get really into those inner thighs. I gotta do this. It's my job. He's got a fucking knife. <laughs> no wonder you were trying to run away. Where are you going? You're gonna go wash your hands. Okay, fine. Right, I gotta go share my case theories with co-workers. Hey, bro. You hear about the ruckus down at Henford Farm? Looks like Nina Caliente's had a heavy night. Drunken disorder arrest, was it? All right, I think we better go on patrol, Officer T. Oh, I think a fight's gonna break out. That guy's got blood all over his face. <laughs> oh, that's the guy I arrested earlier. Sorry, man. Right, I thought I'd come here before a fight breaks out. You both seem very angry. Lover's tiff, was it? Oh, we've got a scrap going on, have we? Right. I'm sorry, man, but I'm going to have to issue you a citation. And you know what? For causing a public disturbance, along with the citation, I'm going to give you a slap as well. Let that be a lesson learnt. And you, sir, you were part of that fight. You're going to get a citation as well. And I know that you didn't start the fight, but just for good measure, I'm going to give you a smack too. You all right there, Officer T? I notice you're not really going anywhere. You're just basking in the ambience. No, you're right, Officer T. Sometimes you do just have to stop and smell the trees. I think we all try to run at the speed of light to catch up with the pressures of modern day life sometimes. I think this is a real valuable message you're teaching us, Officer T. Sometimes you just have to stand still and do nothing, despite me telling you to do something. But no, no, you're right. You're right, you take your time. Where are we going now, Officer T? What's up? What's up? Keep the peace. Hey, what's up? What's up? Be safe. Oh, this is a lovely walk, Officer T. We do need to issue another citation, though, to hit quota. So maybe we should just, I don't know, just give one to the first person we see. What about this chick right here? She could do with a citation. Looks like we got some troublemakers over there. God damn it. Why do Sims have to do something bad before I can issue them a citation? Do I have power or do I not? Huh? Well, I think I've done all I can here. I'm going to return to the police station. You've done a great day of work today, Officer T. Let's go talk to the chief. Tyrone did a fantastic job today. There may be a shinier badge and new title in his future. Oh, great success. Okay, well, it looks like we're not going to get a promotion in this video, but the next one for sure. You did a great job today, Officer T. And on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.